Want to create highly detailed topography in Revit? Here are some tips on how to use litter laser scans for your projects. We will go over what is litter and its features, and how to create a Revit topo surface using a point cloud produced from a litter scan. Let's walk through what is litter. Light detection and ranging is a remote sensing method that uses light in the form of a pulsed laser to measure distances from a vehicle, drone or airplane to the surface. Litter technology offers incredibly accurate, consistent results. The short wavelength can go through forests and even detect small objects and create exact 3D models, making it possible to determine what the objects are, whether it's a tree, ground, water or buildings. What is more is that this data is freely available in most countries, including in Europe, in the United States and Australia. Litter is the perfect companion for BIM projects due to its threadimensional precision, affordability and availability. Now let's see how to create topography using a litter dataset. Let's start by opening the topography application by clicking the icon in the Archie toolbar. Then browse and select a litter point cloud file. Once the file is loaded, the properties of that file become visible in the dialog. Those properties include the coordinates of the point cloud edges, the number of points, the year the scan was taken, and the density of the terrain points. Now let's select the desired positioning of the point cloud relative to the Revit internal point. Usually a point cloud is defined in geographic coordinate system, but with Revit we use a local zero point to avoid modeling with large coordinates. We can choose to center the topography with the Revit internal point, or, in alternative, use manual coordinates for precise positioning the point cloud with the coordinate that corresponds to the Revit internal point. Let's now choose the amount of points that we wish to include in our Revit topo surface. In this example we set the density to high to get about 50,000 points, what is a good amount of points and won't take too long for Revit to generate the surface. Finally we press the Create Topography button. After a few seconds the topography is ready. When we use a litter point cloud as a source to our topography, we can then tighten the distance between the topo contours to see the surface in greater detail and with smooth transitions. Now that you know a little about creating topography using litter files, you can discover even more ways of using Archie topography. For more helpful tips like this, subscribe to the Archie support channel, or click a video to keep on watching now.